You might have already seen it, but Ryan Reynolds has just released an absolutely hilarious video involving the McRib sandwich and aviation gin, creating his gin riblet, which is just so funny. Anyway, I'm gonna be reacting to it today. Then we're actually gonna make the drink. It's supposed to be a piss take, it's a joke, but let's see what it tastes like, and we're starting right now. G'day folks, if you're new here, my name's Tim and welcome to Tim and Tonic, where we discover the world's best gins and how to drink them. So I've got the laptop out today. We're gonna check out Ryan Reynolds' latest cocktail videos, which are always hilarious. So let's just get stuck into it and play the video. To celebrate the return of America's favorite ribbed shaped sandwich, I've invented the perfect glass shaped cocktail to pair with it. <laughs> what did he just say? Did, did he just say the perfect glass shaped cocktail? I don't know. Not sure gin and barbecue sauce go together? Well, let me prove it. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Did he just say gin and barbecue sauce? Oh my God, what have I got myself into? I said, I'm gonna make this drink. Um, I'm a little bit scared now, but who knows? Who knows? Let's see, maybe it's actually a good drink. First, fill a shaker with ice, then Combine four ounces of tomato juice. All right, with tomato just juice. Half an ounce of barbecue sauce. Mm. Wait a minute, he said half an ounce of barbecue sauce. There is no way that was half an ounce. Let's just have a look at that again. With just a half an ounce of barbecue sauce. Mm. <laughs> That's so gross. That was not half an ounce. That was at least like an ounce, maybe even more. It was thick and... Okay, let's go. And then you're gonna wanna put a little squeeze of lemon in there. Lemon for balance, nice. And one and a half ounces of smooth Aviation American gin. At least he's measuring the gin. Not too Shake bad. Shake well and strain. <laughs> what was that shape? Just the casual little like this. I don't know what you're doing, Ryan Reynolds, but it's funny. With a garnish pickle and an onion. And there you have it, the gin riblet. Mmm. Ooh, that's like a Bloody Mary's hotter cousin. Happy 40th anniversary. Bring back Grimace, <laughs> damn it. I don't know how he kept a straight face while drinking that. I mean, I guess, you know, there's the Red Snapper, which is pretty much the Bloody Mary, um, the gin version of Bloody Mary, but... How did he keep a straight face? That looked so gross. Lucky I'm a very open-minded person. Who knows, maybe this drink is actually good. Let's get rid of the laptop anyway and give this drink a crack. Okay, and we're back. So I've got all the ingredients here. We've got our tomato juice, we've got our barbecue sauce, lemon, and of course, aviation. Let's make this drink, see if it's any good. So our first ingredient, which he said was four ounces of tomato juice which for my non-American friends here, four ounces translates into about 120 mils of tomato juice. Our next ingredient is the barbecue sauce. Now, Ryan didn't measure it, and I swear it looked like he put in like an ounce or two of barbecue sauce, but he actually said half an ounce, which for my non-American friends, that is about 15 mils. Oh my God, look at that, it's so thick. <laughs> I don't know how this is even gonna come out the jigger. Okay, there we go. Oh, not too much. Oh, that's so gross. So next up we had our lemon. Glad to see he's putting a little bit of lemon in there. A nice good squeeze for some balance. Balance out all that sickly sweet barbecue sauce. He didn't measure that one, so I'm not measuring it either. And then we have the last ingredient, the aviation American gin. Nearly forgot it, but we've got an ounce and a half of that or 45 milliliters of the gin straight into our shaker. Oh my God, I can smell the barbecue sauce. I am not looking forward to this at all. All right, so let's get some ice in there. And let's give it a shake. Mmm, look at that color, amazing. Yummo. So we're gonna need a glass with some ice and a cocktail strainer. Here we go, here goes nothing. Strain that into our glass. 
I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of like a normal Bloody Mary. And now our drink wouldn't be complete without a garnish. He garnished it with some pickles. He used a pickled onion as well. I've just got normal pickles. That's all I had at home. So there we go. We've made our gin river. Now I guess I have to taste this drink. I really have to taste this drink. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, here goes. I don't know if I can bring myself to do this one, but okay, I've got to do it. Oh my god. It pretty much tastes exactly as you expect. Well, yeah, it just tastes like barbecue sauce pretty much. Nothing else. Barbecue sauce, the lumpy texture of tomato. Um, can't taste any gin at all. Who even knows if there's gin in there? Oh, it's like a car crash. I've got to keep going back for more. Oh, that's absolutely terrible. Well, thank you very much, Ryan Reynolds, for making me drink this absolutely awful cocktail. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Now is probably a good time. If you haven't already, click through here and you can see the Aviation Gin Review. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.